Today we're talking to William Bloom. Uh, Bill, how did it affect your work when Osama bin Laden plugged your book? Well, at first it was a bonanza of financially. I sold about 20,000 copies or more of the book, I think. But in the long run, it may have cost me even more money than I gained at that, at that time. That's now about three years, and I haven't had a single paid invitation to speak on a college campus. I mean, before that, I had had uh, every two months or so a paid invitation. Uh, so that's all been lost, and that's, that's, that's a good portion of my meager income as it was. Wow. Yeah, that's something. Any chance uh, Bin Laden could uh, refund some of the money? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know if, if he's still a millionaire. So today I wanted to ask you what you think of the Obama administration so far. Well, before the elec before he took office, I didn't have much in the way of expectations. And I must say now that I have not been disappointed. But he's, he's worse than I expected. Uh, I cannot say, I'm, foreign policy is my main interest. Well, that's what I, I write about mainly. I cannot see a single difference between Obama and Bush's foreign policy of any significance. It's really, it's very, it makes me unhappy. Uh, his, his, his policies towards Afghanistan, Pakistan, Iraq, Israel, Cuba, all the same. I am mean, the thing with Cuba, it's just, they, they, they make it a bit easier for, for Cuban Americans to go to Cuba. But I, I still can't travel to Cuba. You know, the changes he's made are, are, are hardly even cosmetic. They're, they're so minor. And, he, and, and, and when he announces that he, well, he, no, not he, but his, his supporters are under the illusion that he somehow ended torture. And that's as fallacious. He has not, if you read the small print, he has not done that at all. He, things are still intact, including renditions. So you think he's a militarist in sheep's clothing? Is that what you're saying? Or? You know, I, I'm beginning to think that the man doesn't really have any strong beliefs in anything except his, 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 own, his own advancement. I, th I mean, he, he was a lowly state senator when he decided he wants to be president of the U.S. Now, what kind of person is that? A very ambitious person. And, and, and it was not any great vision he had. I don't know what his, his overall vision or plan is. He's not, he's not a, a great, any kind of revolutionary or, or a, a social uh, reformer. He wants to be president. That's his main impetus. And, and he just, he'll do anything for that to, to be there. And that's, what he, that's how it worked out. He did anything. He'll say do anything. He doesn't care about the, the issues that much. His appointments are, are a shock, one after the other. Some elements of the left have argued it would be better to have a Republican in office. Do you think that's true? No. Uh, I had enough of uh, Bush-like types. I mean, he, uh, Obama at least is not an asshole uh, on a personal level. Bush is a total asshole. Obama is, is, only, is only a... a a center-rightist, that's what I would call him, center-right. And he's, he's, he's not a tool of the neocons as much as Bush was. Has Obama done anything that you like? Yeah, uh, on, all, on various non-foreign policy issues like abortion and um, a few other things. I, should, I haven't kept notes, but uh, he's... I can, there's a few things he's done on, on non-foreign policy issues, um, which I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm, so I'm glad he, I was glad he beat Bush, and I'm so glad he beat Bush, but that's as far as I can go. Okay, so it's been a while since your last book. Are you working on a new book? I'm working on a new book, called, uh, which the subject of which is uh, The Myths of U.S. Foreign Policy how how the American public is fooled into support. It's, it's a list of, of and a discussion of the various myths surrounding American foreign policy, the main w one of which is the very widespread belief amongst Americans and the, the entire world 
that U.S. foreign policy, no matter what else it does, it means well. Its intentions are noble. Uh, even if, if, they, if they lie about this or that and, 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 and they make mistakes and they blunder and occasionally cause more harm, harm than good, the intentions are, are, uh, are good, they're noble. And that's, if you, as long as a, a person believes that, they're very difficult to reach. They, they, it's like talking to a stone wall well, you're certainly making an effort to reach as many people as you can through your books and through the Anti-Empire Report. So can you tell me how people can find your books? They can go to my website and, and read good portions of each of my books. They can, they can purchase books on my site and they can read all the back issues of my Anti-Empire Report, which is a monthly. My website is www.killinghope.org. Great. Well, thanks very much for talking to us. Thank you very much. How much am I paid for this? <laughs>